because I, every time I ask everybody to please pray for me, pray for all the saints, everyone else who is in need of prayer. And I have been praying for you, and I will continue to pray for you, and let's all pray for all of us, for everyone. And happy birthday to all you September birthday babies. And um, congratulations to all you who have accomplished um, anniversaries, uh, uh, academic uh, achievements, uh, accomplishments, whatever you've accomplished, congratulations. And let's spe specifically pray for people who are sick and shut in and who are in the hospital beds and who are incarcerated behind bars and prisons and jails. And please, please pray for all of the needy, the people who are in need of help, of shelter, of food, of whatever. Let's just continue to pray for everybody and uplift us all, please, in prayer. Thank you in advance for all of that. Now, saying that, I'm going to introduce you to our first guest of today, and her name is Mickey Anderson, Addison. I always want to say Anderson, but it's Mickey Addison. And she's a retired social worker. She's an author of books. She has a lot of artistic abilities. She's a photographer, uh, entrepreneur. I mean, I mean, she has so many ministries. She can't keep track of them. She didn't even realize that her ministry, what her job was part of her ministry as a social worker in a county mental health situ uh, setting institution. Yeah. And welcome to the show. Thank and, you. Nora. And I'm so happy that you came. Thank, Thank you. you. And and I'm going to ask you first, before okay. I ask you anything else, okay. how good has God been to you? Oh, he has been so good besides waking me up this morning and getting me on my way. Um, I have good health, good genes, and <laughs> I have a wonderful family, and I love what I'm doing, and, and I'm happy. And that's the most important thing about being happy. Oh, yes. Yes, he has blessed you. And thank you so much. Now, you're here for not just one purpose, but several. But your main purpose is about your book, your recent book. You've written more than one, but this one's published. This one's published. Okay. Uh, so I'm a bona fide author. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank yes. you. Yes. It was hard work, but it was yes. worth it. Okay. And um, I, I haven't written a parental guidebook. I hope it's going to help some. Oh. Uh, especially uh, those who are having a hard time um, raising children mm -hmm. and having them in a godly way mm -hmm. and, and, this, and with respect. Respect. The, oh, the that's book important. It's all about respect. <laughs> that's important. <laughs> <laughs> that's so important. That's, and because of the children these days uh, of not listening to their parents or walking away when they're talking to them. I can't stand that. Mm -hmm. And parents who spoil their children, mm -hmm. you know, I, permissiveness is what I called it. Mm -hmm. and, and if you spoil them, you're not doing the children a favor. Okay. You know, you know, yeah. because the world can't put up with that, and the world won't put up with it. When they come get into the world, they will have all kinds of problems because they're used to getting their way and having everything easy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they can have it easy now in their youth at mm -hmm. home with mom and dad mm -hmm. but they're going to have it harder outside of that That's or they right. can have it hard at home to start out <laughs> with so they can be <laughs> strong <laughs> and tough enough to deal with it outside world. in the real yeah. world yes. yeah i i really understand that and so these are like self-help this is a self-help type of uh, book yes and okay. it's for uh, parents grandparents foster parents um relatives with custody of a child um, anybody, uh, some people, some people really don't know what they're doing. New, new mothers, mm -hmm. I'm not saying all new mothers don't know what they're doing, mm -hmm. but it makes a great gift for a new mother. Mm -hmm. And um, anyone that you see struggling, I usually ask the question, if they say my children are grown, I don't have grandkids, I, do you know someone who's having a problem? with their children, and then they all, nine, nine out of ten oh, say yes. You got it covered. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, there are good nuggets in here for anybody and everybody. Oh, can you share one of those good nuggets? Well, I, I like to um, say that a family that prays and plays together stays together. Oh, I haven't heard that one. No, I added my That's own your, little play twist. in there. Yeah. Yes. 
family that prays and, and plays together, together <laughs> stays together. Right. Oh, right. that's nice. And uh, a mother and a father have to communicate with their child and be on the they they can uh, be on the same page with each other and and. Parents can be too busy for their own children. That's true. You know, they don't give them the time that they need, and you do it when they're young. Mm -hmm. And I do have a saying, if you spend time with your children when they're young, they'll want to spend time with you when you're old. Oh, and that's very important. Yes. Oh, that is so very important. And I, I, really, I really believe that. I believe that. Yes. Because, you know, and, and you don't, it, it's interesting because I have no children. Mm -hmm. But I have a lot of children in my family, right. a lot of babies and, and children that have grown up who are now adults or what have you. But um, and I know I helped influence them sure. in positive okay. ways. But, but the, the one thing, thing I know for sure, sure what you just said, mm -hmm. my parents really gave me a lot of time, a lot of affection, a lot of attention in a, a positive, right. Right. positive ways. And most of it was related to going back to the Bible, you know. They yes, were Christian, yes. and they were Christian couple who had Christian values and, and judgments and morals and right. what have you. So when it was time for me to jump in and help them out, especially yes. my father first and then my mom, yes, it was no, I had no regrets because... You, you know, wanted to do I it. I wanted you, to. It right. was like, uh, it was expected, it. Yes. but it was like I um, I had decided it early on in life. Right, It was right. like a vow to myself that I kept. Right. Because and, and, I knew that they really put a lot of time and energy into me. Right. So it was my turn to re reciprocate. Return. Yes, exactly. Um, I, I just think when they're little, I, I'm a huggy person. Okay. So I think little children, you just hug them all the time. <laughs> Especially <laughs> those little ones that are, uh, you know, I got it. We got it. We have a cousin because she's my cousin too. But we have a cousin who has a grandbaby who is so huggy. I mean, he is so affectionate. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to say his name because I, he really stands out that way. Uh -huh. I mean, he loves to hug and he loves to just express himself verbally right. in, in such a loving manner. And it, he even goes to the, as far as to say, even when he's nothing, there's no need to say it, but he'll say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's so been on the cute. show a, cute, a couple okay, of times okay. with his bigger sister, uh -huh. Isabella. His name is Desmond. But I usually don't mention family names because if you leave others out, they get upset and oh. what have you. But but anyway, this one this one was it was appropriate. Yes. So yes. it was relevant to what right. we're discussing. Right. And and another thing is, you want a, a stable home. You want a calm home. Because yes. if a child is growing up in chaos, I, I really hate to see children who are on their adult schedule, oh. I call it. Um, oh. The child gets up with the mother and, and whatever she's doing, uh, the child may not go have a nap. I, I call it from an A to B nap. You're getting oh. a nap in the car going from one place to okay. another. We're okay. talking about three and four. and They need a nap. A lot nap. of busy people, though. I know what you're saying, but we're, a lot of women live, live be, a lot of families live busy lives, and yes. but they got to be creative about right. balancing right. things. Yeah. Right, right. And, and, and are having a babysitter. And mm -hmm. the other thing is that uh, what if a child is three and going to bed on a regular basis at 11 o'clock at night? Mm. You know, or the mom just um, and then get sleep late or whatever. I'm not, I'm, if, you know, they may be a stay at home mom, but I'm saying your children need the X amount of sleep. Mm -hmm. And I put it in 10 hours and, and it's broken down into age group. They need their sleep mm -hmm. to, and their rest for their mind to recharge and mm -hmm. get ready for the next um, event. Preparation. Yes, yeah, yes. So, so a stable home, a calm home. And and discipline, I'm heavy on discipline. It's a respect, discipline, mm -hmm. and consistency. Because you can't be one way with a child today and another the next day because of your mood swings or you know, whatever. What, what you're discussing, what we're discussing, mm -hmm. it, it's so relevant, but it's so similar to, well, it's to education. 
you know, being a retired special education teacher. Right. All those things are very important, especially consistency and expectations and right. what have you. But I, I'm just wondering, I'm just really curious about uh, why there are more, aren't more social workers in the school settings and, and more education in the social work area. Right. You know, it, because they're so interrelated. Well, I know they're trying to. I don't know if I, I'm not in the school setting, and I never was, but mm -hmm. I, I know they're trying to put a social worker on each and every campus. Um, when I was one, a, maybe on certain campuses when I was working, uh -huh. but now not there are more. There. I thought I read. Okay, I read it that they're putting or trying to, mm -hmm. because um, they're needed. And um, I, when I was a social worker, I worked in a foster care setting before mm -hmm. I went to um, the county and worked in the j uh, jail setting. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and you pointed out that was my ministry. I didn't call it that, but, but I, it, of course it was because I was counseling and trying to help. And, um, and, and you had Jesus in your heart. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, and I tried to help uh, them be a better person and not come back. And also I retired from the juvenile justice system, JJC. Mm, like our cousin Rosemary, she was juvenile probation officer once. Yes. 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 So it's, it's, it's a lifting to, to think that you're helping somebody on a daily basis. And to, to, and sometimes I do see them, of course, they'll come up to me, remember me in juvenile, I'm doing good, I have mm -hmm. a child, whatever they want to tell me. Oh, it's, it feels really good. It does good. feel good when yes. they, your former students and what have you were come you know, back and, re and recognize, recognize that you it. helped them. Yes, yeah. it, is. it is. When fulfilling. they acknowledge that, it's it's a really warm feeling, but it's also a feeling of uh, accomplishment and it's confirmation that you're doing the right thing. That's right. Yeah. I always used to say, in the right place, doing the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have a lot of goodies. <laughs> well, a lot of nuggets. <laughs> yeah. And, and well, I, I want to say... Hold that? Can we hold one of those up? Yes. And, and I yeah. also want to say... That it's not just little children. I, I, I do touch on teenagers, that you have to know who their friends are. You have to know where they are and um, that they, they uh, respect the house that they're visiting. Oh. And give them thanks when they get back from visiting. Mm -hmm. I, I like written thank yous, but um, not necessarily all the time. Uh, people won't do it. Yeah, they, yeah, they that's true. They uh, won't write a thank you. I appreciated being at your house and oh. all of that. Even family. You're supposed to be courteous to family also. Especially family. Yeah. Because, you know, we can wear family out. <laughs> yeah, but uh, without showing appreciation. Yeah, that's you're true. Right. That's true. Yes. Uh, so, do you have anything else over there? I see some goodies over there. Well, I have a, um, people tell me I want to write a book. So, I came across this uh, very handy sheet. It says, if I could write a book. Oh. So, uh, and, uh, I'd like to hand this out as a little uh, beginner with good, good things like this. Like, uh, it would begin with. And you know the hardest thing is to begin. Mm. And uh, you know some people they have a, the subject matter, and they have the passion. Um, they have the out, mental outline already. Right. So they know how to get started. You just do. You just get started. I definitely couldn't say I knew I was writing a book. It came much later. You know what? When I when 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 God gave me those books that yes. He gave has given me. There's about 20 of them, but three are published. And I really had no clue as to, you know, them eventually becoming published books. Right, right. Because I didn't even think of them as manuscripts, unpublished books. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in bed sick, and I was studying Bible, and every time I study, I took notes. Right, And as right. I would discern and understand things, I would expand on them, and sometimes I'd make a little poet poem out of certain things. And then I thought, wait a minute. I would look back on stuff. Well, I don't know what that word means. Where did it come from? So Discernment. I know I was inspired by God. Yes, yes. The Holy Spirit had helped me to, to get that on paper. On my cell phone, not my laptop because I was too heavy at the time, mm -hmm. my cell phone. You would put it down? Everything. I would put everything down. And, and probably you might be like me, the one that gets up in the middle of the night and starts yes, writing. Yes, yes. Well, I was <laughs> or first in thing bed, in the morning so. before you forget it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
So, um, and also, you know, when you get ready to write, it, it helps to take writing classes. So yes, So I yes. have if been to it, City College yeah. is good for it. Um, I was saying I took a memoir class, even though I never did want to do a book about me. Oh. It was a good experience. And all, all writing classes are good. Wow. Yeah, so th- oh, this one here said also, is your book going to be facts or fiction? You have to, you know, are you uh, developing a character? Or are you going to do research? Mm-hmm. Um, my book is opinionated. <laughs> I, I didn't really go get no data, no statistics. None. It's opinionated. Oh, it's opinionated. That's it. <laughs> Being a mother and a professional, I well, thought Well, you I, have a child uh, uh, who was very professional, uh, I mean, very successful, who was a professional as well. My daughter. I have military um, she don't like me to talk about her. Oh, well, we won't, we won't open that can. Oh, but well. she's a captain in the Army. Oh, wow. That's a high rank, isn't it? Yes. Okay, well, yes. we won't talk about that. Heather. She's very... Because uh, she's so private. That's funny. We're going to leave that alone. Okay, well, we'll move you know, on. We'll move forward. Okay, I don't know why people don't want to appreciate God appreciating them. Yes, you know, because that's what and that's what the show is about. It's a testimonial, mm-hmm. as Bible based, Christ centered, basically, and and it's it's to share how good God's been to us in our lives, so that we can show others, and then they we're, we're witnessing, right? And right. so then maybe it will draw people in who are maybe on the board, on the fence, or maybe not on the fence, draw them closer to God. Yes. And we can draw them close enough so that Jesus can save their souls, help them with, with uh, right. eternal life. Right, right. So I like I have God sprinkled throughout because you need God all the time, all, the all time. during the day. Mm-hmm. And if you have day him in your, in your mm-hmm. life and you have a relationship, you will have less problems. And that's a fact. Yeah, so, you're going to have um, some, but not, not as much. And you're yes. going to know how to deal with them. And you're going to understand that you have a guide. You open that Bible, it'll help you right. to understand what others have done. Examples, examples. Right. Right. So that you can, it can be a smoother, smoother uh, journey. Journey. Because you're not by yourself. No, yes. you're not. Yes. You're not. So, um, anyway, if someone wants to get with me, uh, I will have a, I can help them. I'm really not coaching anybody as far as writing a book or carrying them along. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, you want to get the, your subject matter and your targeted population. Oh, you want okay. to know who that is right okay. early on. But again, you could be writing just for the heck of it, and, and then the chapters just kind of fell into, I said, well, let me put this before that one, and this comes yes. first. And, and, <laughs> and you know, you have it organized, you know, in the correct uh, Beginning, man. middle, and end. end. Yes, yeah. and the end. Now you may not have no idea what the end is going to be. You and just you, have the beginning going. You, yeah. Get started. Just get started. Yes. Just get started. Yes. yes. Well, and and eventually you will finish if if it's if it's God sent. If, if it's, it's meant divine, to be. If it's meant to be. And what's so good about this um, is that you may not be. How should I put this? You may not be as gifted in certain areas as you are in that one area or those or however many areas, but you may just choose one of those areas and and work with that. Right. Because you're an expert in that area if you have a passion for it because you you've done the research, you've done the You've done all that you need to do to make sure you know all that you can know about that particular area or right. genre right. or industry, whatever you want to call it. So you're, you got to make if, if you have a passion. Passion is the word because if you don't, you can't go away, come back, go away, come back. And that's what I did. And it took a long time. But I, I also... Um, I'm from Fresno State. I got a communication, and I've al- <laughs> I always liked photography, and so uh, I did work with inmates, um, and they would send me artwork, and I would make it into a post uh, greeting card. Oh, yeah, and I only nice. just uh, brought a sample of a couple of them. Look at, uh, that. at the time, I really did enjoy working with inmates and putting money on their books. Um, and you have to know the the um, you will get some static from the 
prison system, but some of them will allow it for them to. They were like, they can't make money, but you know, it's just putting <laughs> a little money on their books, not much. Mm. And uh, I went to postcards, and um, I really did enjoy helping inmates, uh, not meeting them, not getting into their charges or what their problem mm -hmm. is, just art. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of artists that are locked up, and so yes, try to make use of that. Mm, and um, see, that was a ministry, <laughs> and I didn't know yeah. it. <laughs> now you know it. Yeah. Uh, and That's besides, sure. I would send things back that were inappropriate, and uh, they okay. go right back to them. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what but, is this? Uh, the family uh, praying together at a dinner table. I mean, I know we can't, uh, a lot of families can't, uh, don't have the schedule that they're all at the table at the same time. But it is so uh, beneficial if you can. And, you know, uh, even a child could read a, strip, a scripture at the table, you know. And uh, I do d believe that it takes a village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I do like the old days when, when, uh, when someone could speak to your child about something they're doing. Because these days, uh, parents seem to get offended if you try to correct their child. Uh, I actually did uh, correct a child in church. And, one of the, and the mother wanted to know why I was correcting her child and not the one next to him. And I said, well, your child is the closest one. They both heard me, mm -hmm. but I just I think it's strange when people do not want you to correct their children and they're doing something uh, inappropriate. Just being noisy when they should be quiet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, you gotta are be careful. Their babies. Yeah. I guess they don't know it takes a village to raise a child. <laughs> or, or they may not. Because some generations, things skip some generations. And I just want to say this about the title. Um, I do believe that the children need to um, learn how to be still and be quiet when they're little. Uh, and, and, and then when you get to kindergarten, they don't have that problem where they're bouncing off the wall and won't listen. And uh, for parents to think that a teacher's job is to teach your child how to listen and pay attention, uh, that's not really their job because now they're going to put you on Ritalin maybe for medication mm -hmm. uh, if they decide that you're out of control and they can't handle you in class. Wow. So I think it's so uh, important that they learn because you're the teacher. You're their first teacher. You're the parent. You're the first mm -hmm. teacher. Mm -hmm. And fathers better have a relationship with their son. Mm -hmm. And. Um, and that's important. Too. That's very important. If a father's in the household and they're not passive, and he's um, actually helping with the discipline, not 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 just one or the other. They mm -hmm. both should be. They both should be on the same page, in the discipline and the and the upbringing. Mm. Yeah, you know. Nice pictures. Yeah. Well, we have a local illustrator, Curtis O'Neill, that did that's my good artwork. To know. Yes. <laughs> I probably contact him for my, our, our God's next book. I call them God's books because, like I said, sometimes I'm not even, I don't even know. I'm like, where did this come from? <laughs> because it's like I, I, I zone out or zone in uh -huh. uh, to tune in to him. And all of a sudden, it's down on, you know, it's, it's writing. writing. And then I don't always recognize it later. I'm like, where, where did this come from? That's how I know what right. I have done. It right. hasn't been me. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been really me. It's I been hear you. inspired. Inspired and, uh, by God. I hear a you. Father mm -hmm. in heaven. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, and so that's it's a long journey, but you know, when you know you you know you're going the right way. Mm -hmm. You just keep on trugging one step at a time, mm -hmm. and it'll get done. Oh, was but, that all our pictures? Because I was. Looking for more, but I guess that's it, huh? We just have about five in the book. Uh, the little girl with the computer. Um, you do want to, you know, guard your children on the Internet. Uh, we can go on a whole big segment on that. Um, you need to have, a, 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 a have their password. I, I find a little game. They could help you um, create a password, and then you help them create a password. Oh. But um, they do have devices, so you'll know what your child is looking at. Uh, uh, my, mine are adults, so I really, you know, <laughs> I, I, re I reference it in the book. Yeah. But um, devices to keep them out of certain areas and places they shouldn't be going. Yes. And, and with, the, with the whole electronics, mm -hmm. um, 
I know um, the children are getting the, the, the tablets at school and this and that, but I still think that in your house, in your home, you regulate. Mm -hmm. You regulate how many hours they're going to be looking at the screen, uh, what kind of uh, programming they're going to be looking at. Um, and you don't want anybody to bully them or anybody to um, trick them into doing things they shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. And that's because you're on top of it. Um, when you come into the room and the computer's there, they shouldn't be cutting it off when you walk in. Or, you, <laughs> you know, know something kind of sneaky, yeah. you know. You want to know what that's all about. Yeah. Oh, and I really want to say this. Um, no, no room in the house is off limit to an adult, I don't think. Mm -hmm. A parent, that a child says, this is my room and I don't want you in here. No. When you start paying rent, then you tell me that. Oh. <laughs> Basically, that's what my parents told me. Because I'm like, what are you doing in my room? Daddy, you're in my room. <laughs> this is your room? Uh, I thought it was on loan. Uh, this is my room. I pay the rent for this room. <laughs> so, you are you know what? Uh, you're right about that. That's old but, school. But, but, you know, that's old school. But um, nowadays, people, they children need more privacy at times. But, you know what? They can have privacy at times. But, I, but, I, I, but at I other times, I'm looking through they drawers. Can. I'm looking through drawers for inappropriate. Oh, um, okay. You're just uh, looking. A, a tire or something <laughs> that shouldn't be there. Okay. Uh, I, th I think it's in your right as a parent. It's in your right, but I don't know if some parents are, are probably not going to go there these days. Like I said, different. it's a different time, a different era. Well, again, it's what you want to do shifted. in your house. So <laughs> I, I would not care what someone is doing in their house. Right, right. what you're doing in your house. Right, right. And, and I stress when kids go uh, to, to have a sleepover, you need to know who the ooh, parents ooh, you are. You need to know everything you, you can. You need to know oh, that, that that's house. That's a situation that's set up to... For, for a real big fa failure if, and, and, oh, tragedy. Right. And if you believe in you sleepovers, um, you need to, they could have a gun in the house. You know, they could do drugs, you know. You need to know that parent or uh, something about them. Uh, you need to know your child's yes. friends. Yes, you do. Who, who yes, do they do. hang with? And uh, especially if your child has um, a change of uh, behavior, from some new friends that they've taken up with. Yes. You need to know all of that. Yes, all of that. Yes. yes. And, so you stay ahead of it. Right. Why would you pretend that you don't notice that they are changing on you, being sneaky mm -hmm. or, or telling you lies that they, ne you know, and they never have before? Yes, because when they're secretive, something is up. Something has changed. Something is up. Right. Well, um, is there anything else that you'd like to share? Um, well, I did T-shirts, yeah. and uh, this is one of my favorite t-shirts. I'm going to stand up for this. Okay. I did t-shirts for a while. Uh, the, the company name was For the Inside. The oh, same thing with that. my... Um, this is uh, Too Anointed to be Disappointed. Oh, that's so and, cute. Um, too Anointed to, to be, be Disappointed. disappointed. Yes. That's like Too Blessed to be Stressed. Oh, yes. That's the other one that, that yes. goes. But uh, yes. So that's when you'll hear more often, Too Blessed to be Stressed. Yes. Well, but, I really like both of them. Yes. That is really a nice shirt. No, I like the coloration yeah. and everything and what it says. Are, are so, they... Are they um, available through me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How much uh, do you, or you want to share well, that online or no, when no, they contact it, you? No, or? it's it's fifteen dollars, and I have all sizes, uh, up to three X. Up to three X. Mm -hmm. From uh, extra small to three X. No, no, small to three X. Oh, eggs. small to okay. three X. So yes. you have no children ones, just adults. Oh no, no, I don't have any any. Uh, I never, I haven't never. I just did women clothes. Okay, okay. I, I never did anything for the babies. Oh, well, that gives you an idea now, huh? Yes. Okay. Go home and think about that for a minute. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like that. I like the colors. Yes, Very yes. colorful. Very colorful. Very colorful. Did the green show up? I'm just curious. Let's see. Did the green show up? It's got the color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a black I, shirt. I'm shocked. It's on a black background. Yeah. Because green really doesn't nice. usually show up because our set, the back is... Is green, green. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so nobody wears green here. Yes. But that I was just curious. That's interesting. So um, do they want, they have my, want my phone number? Yeah. Uh, is it on there? 
Is your contact information on there? I put your email address on there. I don't know if the phone number is there. They can call me direct. I have oh, no problem okay, with it. Okay. So it's a 559-475-3690. I'll give it again. 559-475-3690. And Mickey, just ask for Mickey. That's for Mickey. That's my cell. Mickey, what, tell me this. Mm-hmm. All this time, I've only known you as Mickey. What is the Mickey a derivative of? I mean, is that your name, or is it like Michelle, or? No, there's a nickname. Okay. <laughs> and, and that's one of my pet peeves. I don't like nicknames because you get stuck on them, and that, that's it. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I, um, it's really Ruth. I'm named no, after my aunt. You're named after Aunt Anne? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's I why I got the that. R Mickey at my, uh, on my uh, thing. I didn't know. Okay. No wonder uh, why she was so partial to you. Because you were her baby. I'm yes, the oldest, yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, I know she had her own daughter, biological daughter, right, but right. you were really special to her. That's right. And you better not mess with me when my aunt was around. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. No, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah my new mom, she was married to my Uncle Luther, so, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes, I was pretty up there with her. I, I just know you better not mess with me oh, when she's around. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I miss Ruth. them both, and I know you do, too. <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah, so. she really, really looked out for you guys, yes, and you and your did. brother, and yeah. your children as well. Right, They right. were very close to her. They right. were like the grandparents. She, they were she she was, like grandma. I didn't have a grandmother or a grandfather on either side until I was an adult. I met my grandfather on my mm-hmm. mother's side. But she was there. She filled all the hats. She filled all the hats. <laughs> all yeah. The hats. Her and, her I and know. Luther, my Uncle Luther. Yeah, they filled yeah. all the hats. Yeah. Yeah. All my needs as far as growing up. Daddy's brother and his yes. wife. I, I recently met a little boy. He, they called him Chocolate. And I heard him say, I don't want to be called Chocolate. I want to be called my name. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. so uh, he, and he's putting that, that out right now instead of waiting until he's grown and, and everybody's called him Chocolate all his life and he never did yeah. like it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, his name that's was Desmond and he didn't want to be called that's Chocolate. That's like the Desmond I was talking about earlier. <laughs> he would say something like that. Yeah, so. But um, anyway, yeah, this is a blessing. Well, is there anything else? Do you have any shout outs? Um, well, um, for people who want to write a book, I belong to a, um, a club here in Fresno. It's national, but the San Joaquin uh, version is a call. It's called, um, the, the organization is called Sisters in Crime. Hmm. And I was laughing because I wore a shirt one day, all day, that says Sisters in Crime. Hmm. Nobody, what does that mean? What? Well, anyway, <laughs> I say, what do they do, Sisters in Crime? Yeah. They write mystery novels. <gasps> wow. Yes, yes. And we, and they meet, we meet uh, first Saturday, once a month, um, at the uh, Yosemite Falls up on Ashland in 99. Wow. That's a 9 o'clock meeting. You're a busy lady. Oh, I like to belong to stuff like that. You're um, a busy lady. And right. It's all positive. Right. Good influences for right. our youth and anybody. Right. Actually. So then if you want to be a writer, do writing things. You know, to go to conventions and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but most of you take those writing classes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, I belong, to, I'm political. Good. I belong to both. Uh, uh, West Fresno Democratic Club. I just came from there today. Oh, I know a friend of mine, Floyd, uh, Pastor Floyd. Spoke. Paris. Yes, he, he spoke the, today. Spoke He's today. our speaker. Yeah, yeah that's um, um, West Fresno Democratic Club. Meets mm-hmm. every uh, third Saturday. Yeah, I was so, invited to that. I couldn't make it, but right. yeah, so that's something how things come full circle. So- you know, God works in cycles. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> so, cycles and circles. And, and, and I meet people just move to Fresno, and I say, well, I'll help you get situated, get to, you know. I have a little bit of this and that, and there's mm. no this and that. So mm, That's good yeah. to know. Right. You guys heard that, right? <laughs> politics. I'm good for <laughs> politics. Oh, real uh, political. So I'm about to make my exit and get off into my book and marketing it and promoting oh, it. So okay. Yes. Well, you can always... Go and come. You vacillate. You can go from your book to your 
Politics, back to you. Let me tell you, in politics, they'll be looking for a secretary come December. <laughs> Because I won't be secretary oh. anymore. Oh. West Fresno Democratic Club. Looking for a secretary. West Fresno Democratic. That's my shout out. Okay, that's your <laughs> shout out. Okay. Well, thank you for that and everything else. And thanks again for being on the show. You're and welcome. perhaps you'll return um, soon. Um, and and I know you're going to be on next show, the show following this one live. Right. right. Uh, the Marquino White with God Show. Yes. And I'm excited to, to, to be to you know to watch that. I'll I'll be around. <laughs> she's here in the she's here in the studio now. Yes. And um. Anyway. Oh, I, I want to say you. one more thing. Oh. I forgot. I have a book signing coming up. This is very Tower, important. Okay. Tower Blend. Tower Blend. It's in the Tower the uh, th- district. Uh, um, October the. What did I say, 11th? You said 11th. And 11th uh, from uh, 5 to 9, um, uh, Tower Blend. So that's, that's my... That's right across the street. That's a book signing, and I hope that you can join me. And uh, the food is delicious, and uh, I'll be selling my book. It's, it's, a, it's, on a, it's on a Friday. Okay. Do you want to say something about the first 10? The first 10? First 10? No, you mentioned something earlier. Well, that's okay. I'm sorry. This I was being rude. I'm gonna <laughs> not do that. Excuse me. Please forgive me, everybody. But uh, I, I'm, I'm, I was digressing. <laughs> so just ignore that. If you want me to elaborate on something I said earlier. We were saying something about the first ten people. Oh yes, yes, yes. If you. Thank you for reminding me. Mm-hmm. Uh, if the first 10 people <laughs> that show up for my book signing, uh, they'll be given a little treat for free um, at the um, Tower Blend. So I thought that was very good of the owner. His name is Anthony, and I just met him the other day. And he's so. from his family. They're from Nigeria, from what I understand. I think he's from Nigeria. Yeah. Um, he's a workaholic. I could tell just talking to him for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe they own a tele- um, cable. No, no. Cell phone business. Okay. I thought he said. Okay. He has a okay. cell phone business wow. also. Wow. Yes, he was well, a very nice person. Well, thank you very much for coming, and thanks for all your information. I mean, it's so much information. Everybody... You take it in, or you can always re- replay this, and then you can pick up whatever you you um, you might that might be beneficial for you, that might be relevant for you to mm-hmm. you. So, yes. thank you, uh, Mickey yes. Addison. <laughs> okay, cuz. <laughs> and and, and um, we'll we'll just look forward to you returning again. Oh God yes, I, hopefully I have something bigger and better to tell you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a quick break and just enjoy the little music interlude uh, while we're we're setting up for the next uh, segment. Thank you. Thank you. people, the people who are just tuning in. Now, um, this again, this is God's Mission with Nora Helen Henry. 
uh, show and um, the God's Mission with Nora Helen Henry show. And I just want you to know that um, we're thankful for you and we're grateful for all the shares and the likes and whatever comments you may have. You know, the last show we had, we have over 300 shares. And I'm just amazed at that. And I'm just one, you know, I'm, I'm just thankful to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. You have it for that. Now, we have the last part of the show today. We have two people. They're a couple. But they're each going to sing a song on a pre-recorded video. They live in Dominican Republic, but they're originally from Haiti. And they are uh, potential um, church planters. They want to plant churches in their country. And um, countries. <laughs> and they want to eventually um, just fulfill part of that mission by eventually coming here to study to become qualified or credentialed. God qualifies the call and sometimes he calls the qualified. But they want to come here in the to American study at seminary school and eventually, you know, receive their credentials. Okay, this is Fabi, the wife. They call me mama and their two little girls call me grandma. Grandma So anyway, this is Fabi Alexander. And oh, they sing in Spanish and French. They speak Spanish, French, and English. But this is it. Okay, you'll you'll see. Hi, Guma. How are you? Voy a cantar. Que fortitude.
Amén. 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 Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Amén. I play Mark Kidney's song. Part of it, anyway. It was um, beautiful. Thank you, Fabi. Alexander. Beautiful job. Um, and, you know, as I mentioned in the last show, when she sang um, Blessed Assurance, uh, in French, okay. uh, and another song in Spanish, or what in some language other than English. I mentioned that uh, no matter what we sing, we always know if it's Christ centered, if the Holy Spirit is, is singing through us about Jesus. We always know it. We don't have to know the language, but we know it's spirit filled, and that's beautiful. Thanks again, Fabi Alexander. No, her husband. He's silly, but he's he's fun. Mark Hindi Alexander. Okay, have you heard my wife yes. sing? Yes. I'm going to sing too. I don't know how to sing. <laughs> Check these out. Oh. He was in the white. Hold on, hold on. He walks in the water. He's the only one who got power. He walks in the water. He's the only one who got power. He walks in the water. He's the only one who got power. He walks in the water. He's the only one who got power. Amen. I say glory to my living God. He's the one and only. Give me strength and never let me die and give me all I need. His Holy Spirit will shine in all inside of my heart. I can feel him, but he's out of sight. He's almighty. Watch over me every day and night. He died on the cross for our salvation. Must be glorified. Amen. Praise him. Hands waving to the sky. John 3, 16. His name is Jesus Christ. Knowing that he loves us, he got a plan for we our life. No matter what I'm going through, I know soon I'll be doing for my God is so majesty. What is he just with me tonight? Yeah. What is it just to be denied? He walks in the water. He's the only one who got power. He walks in the water. He's the only one who got power. He walks in the water. He's the only one who got power. He walks in the water. He's the only one who got power. Anyway, I got a good voice. I got a nice voice. Huh. Kenny, you're so silly. Anyway, um, he, he was he was he was serious, but he was playing around. Um, next time we'll we'll hear him really with his real singing voice. He it was kind of more for saddle this time. Well, anyway, thank you very much for listening and tuning in. I thought you might enjoy that because I enjoyed when I heard, first heard it. And um, thank you very much, everybody. God bless you all. Oh, and you know, when I asked for prayer for all the different reasons and people and groups of people, I left out people who are mourning. Please pray for people who are mourning, who are missing their loved ones. And may they all, may they all be comforted with, you know, peace, joy. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>